Hello and welcome to uh, a personal review of two or three products. Um, namely, it's my Hi-Fi kit and it's essentially a review of the name Unity Cute 2, which is powering a pair of IPL S2 kit speaker. Um, well, first of all, let's just have a, a quick look at uh, there's a handset there which goes with the name Unity Cute, which is a particularly fine box which has numerous different inputs on it. Um, has a, an aerial feeding. This one, this is the uh, FM radio. Um, it also has a DAB radio, which is classic. And there you go, it just shows you're in uh, Devon. <laughs> Um, and you can scroll through and then there is also uh, an internet radio which uh, I particularly like Radio Paradise and Radio Paradise comes in three different inputs one of which is a very high uh, quality bit rate which is the um, 320 kilobytes a second it's also very good you get a a good bit on the display it tells you who it is um, and where it's playing from now not only is there a, a nice looking handset here which you get which is built in names great bulletproof style as is the case of their uh, lovely piece of kit but um, there's also um, numerous different inputs um, and you can use a Google Play download for your Android phone, which is the name app, or you can get it on uh, with the uh, Apple products as well. And there's a an Apple name um, app as well. And the name app is particularly good at uh, scrolling and, and controlling your, your Unity Cube, and it's with all the name Unity range, not just the Unity Cube, but going up the ranges as well. They do three or four other products. But this one is essentially the name Unity Cute. It has a fantastic uh, range of inputs for its own 30 watt amplifier, which is included in it. You've got a you've got an input there, which is a three and a half mil jack. You've also got the headphone jack. You've also got a USB input, which will play high quality audio, um, red, high res files as well. Now, not only that, but at the back, and I apologize now for the myriad of wires, but you know, if you're gonna have lots of inputs, you're gonna get lots of wires. There you go. And at the back we've got, there are two coaxial inputs. There's two optical inputs. There's also an out for a power amp. There's also um, the aerial for your uh, DAB radio and FM radio. Um, and there's also an input for the um, network cable as well. So you get a network, it's a UPnP network streamer, which I think is its biggest plus point, and certainly that's what I've used most. But it also has a, an analog input, and that analog input can power a turntable or whatever you have with the phono inputs. I've got it. Um, there's a little box at the back here, which is the Riga Phono stage moving magnet, and I've got it powering a the amplifier for this um, what was a Riga Planer 2, but a friend of mine has taken it and he's put it on two acrylic platters. There's the the moth arm that uh, came with my original little pink thing from years ago. And pink triangle products now no longer made and that's got a, uh, a Riga at least two cartridge on the top um, the I say the arm is clamped onto the top acrylic platter and the bottom acrylic platter has the motor on it which is the the original Riga planer 2 it's got slight modifications it has sorbethane spaces in between the two so that the vibration isn't taken between we've also got these lovely stainless steel with sorbophane in for inserts, which are, well, they look good, but they're also a particularly great um, 
way of keeping the sound and the vibration in check. And that, in actual fact, is fed by an old Marantz 63 transport, which I brought out of hibernation. I'm using it as the transport because within this lovely name Unity Cute, it has uh, its own DAC player built in, which is of a very good quality too. Now I bought, and the second part of the review is for a pair of speakers. These are a kit speaker made by a company called IPL. And IPL is a company by a man named Ivan Leslie. And Ivan Leslie is based here in Devon, where I'm from. And this is a floor stander. It stands just about a meter tall. Has uh, some Fantec ribbon tweeters and a very nice little base unit there. I say little for the size of the cabinet, but do you, the, you may not notice, but these are transmission line. And the transmission line means that the base fires into a folded tube, which then exits out the port here at the bottom, and that extends the base and gives you a lovely rounded bottom end on your base. A particularly good pair of speakers. Um, got some audio quest cable on them, um, just that were rated at the time very highly. So these speakers, they come in kit form. This is the S2. And uh, again, lots of wires around the back, but in all fairness, it's not the wires that I listen to. I listen to the speakers and the kit, and that's what, it's, uh, that's what is important to me. This aesthetic has been put together by a friend of mine who, who helped put the speakers together. Uh, it's a very basic kit. You get the instructions which give you the uh, drawings for the actual plan of the insides. You also have a series of components that go on to a small crossover in which you solder together with very detailed instructions um, and any kind of help that you need. Ivan Leslie is always on the end of the phone and will give you lots of advice. Normally there's a veneer that you can iron on but uh, we chose not to go with the veneer. This is um, a, a guitar power amp um, elephant hide I think it's called. That's the effect. And the elephant hide's been wrapped single piece right the way over, all around the back. And we chamfered off the edges and this is actually a, a textured paint, very similar in colour. Um, very nice uh, textured piece that uh, and it makes it look, you know, quite monolithic really. Uh, but they stand out very well within the, the rest of my kit, which is black. And it goes down onto a plinth of acrylic. Again, the same sort of acrylic that's made the, the turntable um, two plinths as well. And those have been spiked, and they are drilled and spiked into, into the carpet there. Um, some of you might have noticed that there is an extra power amp, and I did try a few power amps. Um, I couldn't decide on any one. I, I had, some, had some reviews which I pondered over and then went into my local hi-fi shop at uh, Exeter, Gulliford Hi-Fi, fantastic guys. Um, tried two or three different power amps, but basically came back to the original Unity Cued and thought, you know what, it sounds almost as good, I think I'll save my money. But because I didn't take my speakers with me, I tried a pair of Proac uh, D20Rs, which were very similar to this, which was a, uh, a sort of floor-standing speaker with a ribbon tweeter and they sounded absolutely truly stunning um, I don't get me wrong these IPLs are great and they were 500 pounds as a kit just over and when my friend put all his bits around the edges uh, with the coverings and the coatings it came up to about 600 but these Proax whilst they blew me away at two and a half thousand pounds <laughs> they can blow me away all day like I still got to save up some money so I have now um, the name Unity Cute, which is being powered by the uh, 150X by name, name 150, NAP 150X, which is the power amp. That has now taken it from a 30 amp to 50. And um, it's just given a little bit more control on the, on the bass output and a little bit of control for the speakers. 
they are a big speaker they are dead easy to drive and to be fair the unity cute has a fantastic power amp section to it but it's just giving me a little bit extra i bought it second hand from that famous site which uh, has only four letters and is known as the bay of thieves however it's very good it's all uh, perched on a very well cheap and cheerful really um stand which is from a company called Northstone, which i bought from uh, richer sounds which is again in exeter and it powers a or it's being powered into i've got a a, a name sorry an rcam r blink and the rcam r blink is my bluetooth pickup this particular name unity cute is about two or three years old now and it was just before the the unit actually had a bluetooth uh, included within it so i bought that as a separate and it's a it's a, a very good piece of kit and i can power numerous things into it and again it goes in through an optical cable into the into the um, unity cute and that has its own dac built in so you know it does sound very good the so the 63 there has a is just being used as a transport and it uses the dac inside the unity cute so all in all very pleased with it um got two or three things that are inputting and playing at the moment uh one of which is um as we're listening to at the moment uh, which is the radio um no doubt we'll be able to play some of the other bits and pieces in a second i've also got a um something a bit different which is the this is a relatively new piece of kit for me it's a dap digital audio player from from pioneer um it's a great piece of kit. It's got two rather large little uh, um, SD cards in the side, and that's playing via Bluetooth into the name. Um, so you can hear at present the uh, the radio. Just thought I'd show you some of the other inputs as well. We have a, an analog. There is, let's say there's the DAB, the internet radio, Radio Paradise there playing. Um, we've also got the network streaming side of things, which uh, I, say I use quite a lot and it plays all sorts of high res files. The, uh, there's a little button on the side here that tells you the different, uh, different inputs. I've got a, a disc station up in the loft which is uh, where houses all my music um, but it also gives you items like track number um, and the stream info it tells you also the the bit rate as well one of my um, more recent um, inputs as I say is this this uh, DAP, which is my Pioneer player, um, it's extremely good. Um, yes, you can actually do a, a line out and it has its own inbuilt DAC, but I've also got the DAC built into the Unity Cute. So give that a quick play. Um, and that plays through Bluetooth. Bit of Pink Floyd just to keep us entertained. Of course, listening to it through um, a YouTube uh, player, you'll only get as good as it's uh, recorded. You can't actually tell the sound quality, but I can tell you that it's lovely and warm. It's got a very pleasant uh, low bass end. It has a really nice set of tweeters, these Fantech tweeters within the IPLs, which sound, I think, particularly good. And there's a lovely cohesion to it. You can pick out all the instruments as well. Um, and it, it does look better. I'm sure that if I were to have lots of nice black cabinets to uh, house my, my LPs and my CDs, that would be much better. Um, 
The only thing I thought I might show you is the the turntable. Well, the turntable so it was built by a friend of mine. Um, it is fairly low tech in that uh, I went on to a forum thinking that I didn't get a lot of bass. So I was told try a little bit of weight on the top of your your cartridge, which I did. Tried numerous coins uh, and it made a big improvement. It was lovely. So there's a five pence piece there. With a little couple of blobs of blue tack being a low tech. But uh, I'll give it a play in a second. Uh, you have to re reset the downforce of course on your cartridge. I think I must have been, I think that fan sounds pretty fantastic. Sat back in the listening seat. Yeah, it does sound good. And I think the name Unity just is very cohesive. It works particularly well as a as a good preamp. Its own little power amp was amazing. I just wanted a little bit more control and the NAP 150 was just a very reasonable price to add into the mix and it does give a little bit more control, a nice rounded more controlled bottom end as well. So there you go, the name Unity Q2, particularly fine streamer, amplifier, hi-fi unit so exceptionally good you know I don't tend to take it off the uh, radio paradise these days very often because I get such a good mix of music but there you go name unity cute IPL s2 speakers with a Riga planar 2 derivative plus Marantz transport uh, with the Pioneer DAP player. Anyway, if that's helpful to anybody, yeah, all well and good. It's only my personal view for all of these things. I personally like it very, very much, and I think uh, you can spend an awful lot of money, but at the end of the day, you can spend a reasonable amount of money and still get something exceptionally good. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much. <laughs>